Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, it finally freaking focused. How about that? I was uh, I was about ready to uh, <clears throat> put a fork in this webcam here because uh, for the longest time I was trying to mess around with like the freaking thumbnail and stuff. It kept uh, taking fuzzy ass, blurry thumbnails. So I was like, is this sucker done for? Oh, I need this, don't I? I do. Amateur hour. All right, I got my mic. Ben Tenza. Benjamin Atienza is here. First comment. What's up, man? Do I sound okay? Is audio coming through? Audio and video good? Everything good? Hopefully good. Toy Avenue's here. So um, I was not planning on going live. Calvin Vallejo, the fig bro. Go blues. I'm wearing my blues jersey today. Actually, worry. Uh, what did I have on? I had <laughs> I had three different jerseys on today. I started with a Blue Jackets jersey, and then I had a uh, Tampa Bay Lightning jersey on, and then I just put this one on. And I actually just got a jersey in the mail, and I have one, two, three, four, and I'll have five. I really gotta cool it. I gotta I gotta freaking cool it on these jersey pickups. I gotta cool it on these figure pickups. I am like. I'm in the hole, guys. I'm in the hole bad. So I actually have to, to cool it on the pickups, on the pickup skis. And I got to uh, I gotta actually, I'm thinking about selling some stuff. I'm going to sell some stuff. Cycle the collection, as a lot of people now say. Cycle the collection. Thoughts on the Super Bowl. That was the uh, comment that I noticed right away. Boring as frick <laughs> in the second half. First half was kind of interesting. It is really bright in here. Uh, let me do this, and I apologize to anyone that's watching that has one of these in their house, and it's going to be confused when I do this. Alexa, turn office lamp off. Okay. That's better, much better. You can actually see the uh, the lighting now. Much better, although I still feel washed out. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl. It was boring as frick, second half. Kind of interesting in the first half, just seeing uh, – just seeing Tom Brady freaking work his magic. The goat, the goat ski. Um, I was really hoping it was going to be more competitive game. Um, the commercials kind of weren't that great. It was just kind of, kind of meh, honestly, extremely meh. But uh, I watched it nonetheless. Uh, MCT Dog says, since he said Hans jacket is brown like his dookie. That's correct. Brown like my poop in the last video. So anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I was not going to go live. I was not going to do this. I was actually going to film my, uh, <laughs> it was the uh, part three, night three of the Cincy Awards for 2020. We are now one month and change into 2021. But I was going to film my favorite seven inch scale figures were basically NECA and McFarlane. But I have a big ass stack of stuff in front of my filming area. So I was like, all right, I got to I got to move this stuff out of here. I got to I got to get this stuff out of here. But then again, if I move it out and then I film my Cincy Award video, then I got to move this crap back in. So I was like, frick it. F it in the A. I'll just go live. I'll go live right now for an hour. I got an hour before I got to hit the treadmill at night. So looking forward to the Chick-fil-A nuggets. Uh, so I got to burn some cows. But I gotta move this stuff out, so I gotta I gotta show you what I got in this toy haul. It's an awesome toy haul. I'm very happy with it. Uh, but let me go ahead and get to that. But first things first, let me get back to seeing who's here, because I just started going off on a freaking tangent. Is my audio okay? By the way, I don't know if I ever got that answer. Uh, Calvin's here. CM Brock, Willie Woodson. What's up from Milwaukee? I've been to Milwaukee once. I was there. For like two nights. Millie Wake. Uh, MCT Dog, Velocity, Paul Morales, Thanos the Mad Titan, vibing in the Ritz car. What's the Ritz car? I'll tell you what I do like is Ritz crackers. Those things are freaking delicious. A little peanut butter, maybe some uh some freaking cheddar jack cheese, little cute little squares on some Ritz crackers. You gotta put the stuff, whatever you're gonna put on a Ritz cracker, you gotta put it on the bottom. So that when you put it in your mouth, you get the salty side down on your tongue ski. There's a freaking pro tip right there. Salty side down on the tongue ski when you're eating a freaking Ritz cracker. 
you get the salt and then you get whatever the hell you put on top. Cheese, freaking, I don't know, little pieces of ham, peanut butter, whatever. Uh, what am I, what am I even talking about here? Paul Morales, Toy Avenue, Calvin's giving a thumbs up. Okay, so audio is good, hopefully. CM Brock, King Dingaling, Liz Sam Official, you sound perfect. Thank you, Liz. Comics and Gore, hola, Senor Cincy, when you're getting into statues. I actually used to be in statues big time. Statues were like, I would say 75% of my entire collection. They used to be. And then, because there was Bowen statues, Randy Bowen, when he was making statues, when he was sculpting stuff, that was most of my high-end collection. I didn't have any of these freaking hot toys back then. But uh, Bowen stopped making statues, and I was like, what the frick am I going to buy if he's not making statues? And then I got into these damn things. I got a big-ass water here, so there's not going to be any of that nonsense from last week where freaking got a sore throat midstream. I think uh, part of my problem is that I talk too much. So maybe if I talk less... And just focus on showing you the, the goods here. I won't have a freaking sore throat. Caution 9381. How's it going? Jared Luna. Michael Thomas. Uh, let's see here. Montgomery Designs Notification Squad. Hell yes. Ben Tenza says, uh, everything is good. Follow Ben Tenza Toy Hunts. Uh, let's see here. The Wizard's Chest. Get ready for the cold coming our way. Yes. So Wizard's Chest, you're in Dallas or Texas. And... Uh, we're getting some some temps, some lower temps later on this week. Some frigid air, some Arctic air dipping down ski into our area. And then uh, I'll feel more at home, feel more like OH uh, down here in Texas, in North Texas. Jason Cook, Mark Rose. Thought, I already answered the thoughts on the Super Bowls. Oh, yeah, boring as frick, second half. Hee hee in the hole, Cream City Fig says. Caution, ninth. Okay, so I was a fan since 2016. Uh, Leon, how's it going, man? Mark 44 Prime. Having fun. Keep having fun. JR Kaneko, Justin Shannon. I think we got a forum here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this haul because I got to get through it in less than an hour. Uh, but I'm going to start with some Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends wise, I got two Marvel Legends here. And this is one that I, I don't know, I skipped on a couple times. And, um, and then I was missing a freaking bath part. So I was like, might as well pick it up. I saw it at Walmart. Bam. It is the uh, it is the glare. The glare ski. It's the Iron Man from Gamerverse. Um, I have not played the Avengers game. I have heard some people really enjoyed it. But I got this one primarily for the arm. For Joe Fix It. Because I found most of these figures on clearance. And I picked them up. They were like 11 bucks at a Walmart. Uh, this one was, unfortunately, I had to pay full price for it, but I, I take that back. I take back the unfortunately, because the more I look at this figure, it's a cool-ass looking Iron Man uh, armor. It's very cool looking. So I'm kind of happy that I picked that up. So there's the first Marvel Legend, and then I already took out took out the bath piece, and here is my Joe Fix-It. I know he's not 100% comic accurate, because... His skin is semi fix it is basically the gray Hulk. Uh, but it it does have a grayish tint to it. This is not the greenest Hulk uh, that I have seen. I like it a lot. I, I'm a big fan of the Joe fix it character, the gray Hulk. So there you go. Completed bath Joe fix it. And he has been sitting right over here recently. Fix my jersey. I'm all bunched up. Bam. Uh, Marvel Legend number two. I actually just picked this up. I just picked it up, what, like 45 minutes ago at Walmart again on clearance. So this one was on clearance for $14.88. So I don't know if you're still looking for this guy. Basically, uh, I did a Marvel Legends Cincy Awards video, my favorite Marvel Legends of the year. And I got a few comments that said, What about this figure? What about this figure? This figure is one of my favorite figures of the year. And I was like, damn, maybe I overlooked this one because I never picked it up. So I was like, well, if I see it, maybe I'll pick it up. Well, I saw it today on clearance, $14.88. Again, check your uh, Walmarts. And I'll show the UPC here briefly so you can, I guess, check it in uh, BrickSeek to see if 
It's on clearance at yours, but again, 14 bucks. Four, bam. Armor Daredevil. And again, when I did my Cincy Award video for best Marvel Legends of the year of 2020, a lot of people were like, dude, you forgot this figure. You forgot the Armor Daredevil. It's like my favorite figure of the year. So I was like, I had seen it before in store. I had passed on it. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. I haven't taken out of the package yet. It's probably going to go on my um, Marvel Legends Hero shelf. Although my Marvel Legends Hero shelf is now a Marvel Legends Heroes and Villains shelf uh, with Avengers and Avengers-type villains. No X-Men on that shelf. So this guy will fit in there. Armor Daredevil. So let me know what you guys think of this figure. If you were one of the ones that was like, dude, he was one of the best figures of the freaking year. You forgot about it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but let's see what's going on. DR5000, I am absolutely 110% running out of space. I have run out of space. And I'm thinking about making a few rash decisions here, um, including selling some larger things, including potentially, I don't want to do it because this was, this was something that I really, really wanted for a long, long time. But I had thought about selling Castle Grayskull, the Motu Classics Castle Grayskull, just because it takes up so much damn room. Um, I got to make some room, guys. And when you got to make room and you've run out of room and they keep making new stuff that you want to buy, you have to make tough decisions. But I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm kind of thinking I have to sell some big stuff. Anyway, I know you moved on to the Mafex X-Men, but were you thinking about the Legends Hickman run X-Men? Michael Thomas, I was. I really like the Jean Grey and the Cyclops. I had thought about just buying a few figures from that wave, including the Jean Grey and Cyclops. I kind of want to see what the Xavier looks like. What the hell is that? Uh, I kind of want to see what the Xavier looks like uh, when it when I have it in hand. And uh, I want to see what the Wolverine looks like. I know the Wolverine's basically a reuse of um, a previous <clears throat> sculpt. I think it was the X-Force figure, uh, just repainted. But I definitely am interested in the Jean Grey the Cyclops, and maybe the Xavier, and maybe the Wolverine. I don't know. But again, I'm running out of room here. Uh, so, yes, there's that. Making room for the Thunder Tank, since he, King Dingling says. Um, I wish I had room for the Thunder Tank, but at this point, it's, a, it's probably like a 1% chance I'll get the Thunder Tank just because of how large it is. I really, really want to just tidy up the collection and just not have so much like clutter. I look at my stuff now and it just kind of, re it reminds me, it's like clutter. So I just gotta, I gotta take this and I gotta do this. So anyway, as I continue on with this giant freaking haul, I got some transformers and I'm gonna show you which transformers I got. But first, I actually found this one. Uh, I am really, really, really liking Super 7 stuff right now. Um, I was talking to Craig, not, uh, Knock, not knock, Narc. <laughs> Live TV. I was talking to Narc about uh, the Super 7 stuff because I was really admiring the TMNT stuff. Um, I got the Wave 2 stuff in. I was unboxing them. I unboxed the Leo and then I unboxed the Shredder as I look at them right now. And I was telling him how much they remind me of uh, buying the old Playmates figures. Like when they were first hitting the shelves in like, what, 88 or something? <clears throat> I'm getting over a cold, by the way. I had a cold late last week. That's why I didn't put any videos up. I lost my voice entirely for at least a day and a half, maybe two days. And now I have a lingering cough that just interrupts every now and then. So if I cough, I apologize, especially if it's loud. Um, but yeah, I, I'm getting over a cold. No COVID, just a cold. Just a cold that one of the girls brought home. Anyway. Uh, Wave 1 reissue is on BBTS right now. Jared Luna. So Jared Luna with the breaking news. Wave 1 reissue is on BBTS right now. Are you talking about TMNT Super 7 reissues? Um, so check it out, I guess. Don't uh, X off of this live stream because we're having a little, little chat here. But open up another window and check out BBTS and see if... Uh, so Jared Luna says TMNT. Wow. Very cool. So check it out, guys, if you're if you're looking to pick up those TMNT. I freaking love that line. Anyway, what I was getting to was the fact that Seven's making, and I got this. So 
long story long, I got this Toxy, Toxic Crusaders. Uh, this is the exclusive. This one was sold out for a long, long time. Uh, I found it on Amazon. It said there was two left. I sent it uh, to Narc really quick, and he goes, uh, or was there less than two, or was there three? I don't freaking remember at this point. Anyway, I sent it to Narc. He bought one. I bought one. It is the <clears throat> glow-in-the-dark version. So there's Toxie, Toxic Crusaders. He's got his mop. He's got his American flag. He is very glow-in-the-dark. Look at him. Awesome. Freaking awesome. I'm telling you, I really love Super 7 stuff right now. Um, that's the shelf. Usually I kind of like, I have a bunch of different shelves. I got to do a collection video here soon. I have a bunch of different shelves. But recently, the Super 7 shelf is literally catching my eye every time I'm scanning my shelves. Like I'll be sitting here during the day <clears throat> working and uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll need to take a break from whatever I'm doing. I'll just start looking at the room, scanning the room. The Super 7 shelf grabs my attention, literally. The last few weeks, I don't know what it is, but I love their stuff. Um, the wizard chest says, poop mouth, poop coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Since he, have you found the rat king? <clears throat> stay tuned. Um, stay tuned. I'll probably get to it in like 20 minutes, but yes, stay tuned. Uh, what up, Cincy? Are you getting the Mezco 78 Superman? Yeah, I got the shipping notice today, so that's on the way. So Mezco Christopher Reeve Superman, which I'm really excited for because I really wanted the Hot Toys version, but that thing is like really, really shot up in price. It's uh, unattainable. It's it's like way expensive. So I'm really excited to uh, to get that Mezco version. Um, Leon says, going to need room for Silverhawks too. Indeed I am, yeah. Super 7 currently is taking up uh, one shelf in my Detolf and the top of a Detolf, but it's definitely going to be taking up like three shelves here soon. Uh, as I get more Thundercats, as if when Silverhawks comes out, as more waves of the TMNT come out, it's going to take up a lot of room. <clears throat> All right. Next. So we got uh, Marvel Legends out of the way. We got... Super 7 out of the way. I got some Transformers, and you can see who this is. Bam. Bam! I got Cup. So these have started hitting Walmart. I don't remember where I got this one. I think I actually got this one off Amazon. But I went to a few Walmarts in the past few days, and I've seen the 86 Studio Series bots at Walmart. So check your Walmarts if you're looking for this line. Um, I saw, was it T-Man's review? I think I was watching T-Man's review, and he said how skinny he looked. But when I got it in hand... I mean, his legs look a little skinny, but overall, I like the way he looks. I really like the way he looks. So there's Cup. Very awesome. Here's how he looks. There's his alt mode. <clears throat> I like it. I can't wait to get this one out of box, too. So first Transformer. Second Transformer we got here is a Kingdom figure. I think I shared a picture of this on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know which one this is. It is. Bam. It seems like this one should have been part of the Studio Series 86 uh, wave, but they probably needed another Voyager to fill out the Kingdom wave. So they just kind of stuck him in there. Um, what I have been noticed is that on Siege and Earthrise, this side art here, every character that you see in the side art has appeared in Siege and Earthrise. So but I think he's going to appear in Kingdom. So Cyclonus, big box art there. Look at that. Little window. There he is in there. Here's how he looks. I think he looks awesome. I'm really digging Studio Series 86. And I'm digging <clears throat> Earthrise. I'm going to need to drink some water here. Hey, I'm Voyager, Voyager7 says. Uh, Slumdog in the Funky Town. What's up, neighbor? <laughs> MCT Dog says, the Jay Maverick show, just need Grimlock. Been all over the city looking for one. Um, the Jay Maverick show, you should check out. By the way, I just remembered. This is the, um, if you want to check on this one in Brickseek, upside down. 
Come on, focus, you son of a bee. There's the UPC. Pause. And uh, you can look it up and see if it's on clearance at your Walmart. <clears throat> I'm super glitchy. Well, that's awesome. I just freaking dumped my cash. I just freaking dumped my Wi-Fi and signed back on. Freaking glitch. Freaking spectrum. Damn it. Oh, sorry, recreating and anyone else that is seeing that I'm super glitchy. Am I still glitchy? Lost you there for a minute at Cincy. Where did you lose me? Did you guys see the uh, UPC for the Daredevil? I freaking honestly hate that I glitch out on these live streams. It's nice that I don't have to do any editing, but there it is. You're really overexposed. You're fine here. Any other criticism of me? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's try this. Apologies to anyone that's using, that has one of these in their house. Alexa, studio light off. Okay. Now am I too dark? We lost you right at Cyclonus, but you're back. Yeah, stream is bad. Freaking awesome. Um, how's that, guys? Is it too dark now? You're fine here, Robot Western. Breaking up right now. Freaking ass! Come on, Spectrum, stop sucking ass! What was I saying? I, fr I freaking forgot who it was that was looking for this. I think it was uh, Rick creating. Check your targets because I just found this today. They had two on the shelf. Grimlock. Studio Series 86. You're good. I had to leave and come back. Rick creating. Check your targets because I found this one on the shelf today in my area. And there was two on the shelf ski. Grimlock. Looking great. Wheelie on his back. <clears throat> Bam. So there's another Transformers pickup. I don't think you guys missed any actual pickups. Um, but uh, yeah. So let me get through this because I don't know how freaking long it's going to be before I glitch out again. Uh, yeah, you were glitching, went into a loop with Cyclonus, but you're good now. See, that's the only bad thing about doing these live streams. Um, again, am I repeating myself now? No editing, which is a nice thing because editing takes a lot of time. But this, I mean, I have like a 400 uh, megabyte download, 24 meg upload, and I'm glitching the frick out. No one here is using a VPN right now. Usually we use a VPN during the day. So there's literally, I have no TVs running. I stream everything. There's no reason I should be glitching other than the fact that Spectrum sucks ass. So if you work for Spectrum, no offense to you. But the service that I receive here from my cable provider sucks a big old b-hole. The stream is blurry on my... <laughs> <laughs> Liquid Momentum says all good here in Hawaii. All right, I'm just going to keep going. If I glitch out, I glitch out. I'm sorry. If you're connecting wirelessly, it could be a signal issue. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I have two Mezcos here, though. <clears throat> the first one I got from... Kevin Vallejo, uh, he was selling some Mezcos. I got a Doc Nocturnal in, and uh, I have the Doc Nocturnal in my shelf, and I was like, he needs a shelf mate. I mean, I could put any other Mezco with him, but he needed a Rumble Society shelf mate. So from Kevin, Remy Q Studios, first time to the channel, subscribe. And thank you for the three dollars. <laughs> Nothing new here. I mean, you guys, if you collect Mezcos, you've probably seen this guy. They are going to... Um, reproduce this guy in a black version, I believe, Mesco exclusive. That is a terrible look at the figure because he's covered in plastic. Man, I canceled Spectrum over the summer, kept going in and out, couldn't work from home. Froze when you picked up the Mezco. Are you freaking kidding me? What is going on? There's Baron Benz. Bam. Very cool there. He comes with, um, I don't know which head I'm going to use. comes with this head as well. I like this head because it um, kind of octopi-ish. Very, very cool. Glitch and now frozen. It froze, but now you're fine. I feel like all of the comments that I'm seeing now are uh, glitching, glitching. You're frozen. You're frozen. What did you just say? What was that that you got? Uh I apologize, guys. I apologize. Very blue tonight. Yes, it is blue. Got the blue light on in the back. 
Got my blues jersey on. You're fine now. I'm fine for the next 15 seconds until it glitches out again. But there's Baron Benz, guys. I'm very happy with that. Thank you, Kevin. I am picking up another figure from Kevin. Uh, but that one is a pricey one. So I'm I'm going to need to pay that one off a little bit. But there's my first Mezco Rumble Society. Baron Benz. Here's my second one. Glitchy Cincy. Sweet. Freaking awesome to hear. Bam. Hellboy. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I picked this one up. This is the PX exclusive Hellboy, meaning he comes with those big ass horns on his head. Uh, I don't know what else is exclusive about this one. I think the must be cold outside because you are frozen. This is awesome. This is the best stream I've ever had. Honestly, best friggin' stream ever. Did you get the Asian goal exclusive? I did not. I did not get that one. Uh, apparently it went live like at night, so I missed out on it. And it was only up for what, like two minutes? Did that movie really suck? Yes, this, so to be clear, the original three Hellboy movies are pretty good. The Guillermo del Toro movies are pretty good. I like those, starring Ron Perlman. This one was starring <clears throat> David Harbour from uh, Stranger Things. And um, I did not like the movie. I know some people liked the movie. I was not a big fan of it. But this figure looks amazing. And to show you, Baron Benz is from Rumble Society. It's a Mezco property. Yes, Jared Luna. Correct. Here, look at this. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, you could take this little flame effect off the sword. And he could just have the sword. But I really, really like the flaming sword effect. A lot of people were asking, how did you get the flame crown to stay on? You could see the little piece of translucent plastic there. It actually plugs into the back of his head there. Um, it's like connected to hair, and then you you pop it in. The glitching could be on the viewer's end sometimes. Okay. Well, I guess some people are glitching. Some people are not glitching. I'm just going to continue on. And uh, if you could see me, that's awesome. But I really like this figure. Again... Most of the time, I only buy stuff because I have a connection to it. Like, I really, really loved the movie, like Infinity War or Endgame. But sometimes there's a crappy movie, or at least in my personal opinion, not that great of a movie. And I really love the figure. So this is a great, great Mezco figure. I'm a big fan. There's his tail. It is a bendy wire in the tail. But it's just a freaking awesome figure. I'm so happy I picked it up. At first, I was hesitant. I was like, ooh, do I really want to spend? Because I got the PX version, so it's 100 bucks at my local comic shop. <clears throat> so VLR Sierra said, yeah, I've been watching, and you haven't glitched at all. What the frick? Um, all right. But uh, what was I saying? So I'm happy that I picked up that Hellboy because I was kind of hesitant to pick it up at first. But uh, it is it definitely has a lot of presence. I mean, it's it definitely... The, the whole fire crown thing and the fire and the sword, the paint looks so good. The sculpt looks good. Instead of just talking about it, I'm just going to show it to you again. It just looks great. It comes with an alternate head. comes with a trench coat. comes with a shirt. comes with uh, – he's got the, the gun there, which you can take out of the holster. Um, there is a horseshoe as well, and I just realized that the horseshoe will go into the holster right there. There's a little loop there. Larry Gilmore says – the Hot Toys Hellboy figure is incredible. Um, yeah, I think that one has uh, started shipping out as well. Super 7 TMNT Wave 1 is on Entertainment Earth now as well. Hopefully they didn't up the price. Hopefully it's still retail price. I actually need the Baxter still. I still need to get the Baxter. Hopefully that's still available. Thoughts on Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer? Bucky with S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm really, really excited for that show. Uh, but at the same time, I'm really, really, really liking WandaVision. I really look forward to every Friday. I watch it first thing Friday morning. I wake up early to watch it before the kids got to go to school. BBTS is sold out already. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting Baxter. <laughs> oh, that didn't last long. <laughs> I've only been streaming for 30 minutes and someone was like, hey, they're, they're on there. Hey, they're sold out. <laughs> oh, well. I guess uh, I'll look at Baxter on on the internet. <laughs> WandaVision is dope. 100. Yeah, Montgomery Design says. It's freaking awesome. I love that show. 
Uh, but Falcon and the Winter Soldier, definitely a different vibe, uh, more spy action thriller looking. I love the buddy cop vibe from it. I love that Falcon and Winter Soldier just kind of, they don't really like each other. And they're just kind of uh, constantly, you know, just picking at each other. I like that. Buddy cop vibe. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's up on Entertainment Earth. BBTS has been up for a few hours. I'm going to do something real quick so I don't miss out. I'm going to entertainment earth it, entertainment earth it.com. I know this is not the most intriguing thing right now, but let me see if they got Baxter in stock. Baxter. Seven inch scale action figure. Oh, there he is. Okay. So ultimates. Ultimates pre order add to cart. Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ultimates, Baxter Stockman, seven inch pre order. Check out. Very interesting stuff here, guys, as I buy something. But I don't want to miss out on it. <clears throat> 15 freaking dollars to ship. What the frick? Are you serious? Why? Why is it $15 to ship? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Uh, Sojda. Soda. Soja. Um, I'm... I apologize for mispronouncing your name, but finally get to catch a live stream. Thank you for the super chat. $2 super chat. I appreciate it. Um, and about fix is riveting. Yeah, I know it's riveting. I'm going to pass on it, guys. I don't want to pay $15 for shipping. I think that's kind of a rip. Personally, I think it's a rip. Um, but anyway, I got uh, some NECA stuff to show you here. Uh, stop. Go to BBTS. All right, so here's more riveting. Here's more riveting content. <laughs> more riveting content for you. Uh, someone said it was sold out already, but let's check it. This is um, live stock checking. There it is. Baxter, why does it say variant? What's the var Why is it variant? Anyone know why it's variant? Do it since you got the dough. I, I don't have the dough right now, actually. <laughs> I'm in the hole right now. Um, why is it variant though? Anyway, add to cart. Check out ski. Add to my pile of loot ski. Bam! Place order. That's how it's done. And I'm going to go to my account. Hey, Cincy. Ionica says, do it since you got the dough. I, I still don't have the dough. Still cheaper than BBTS. Is it? BBTS is, was $49.99. And I do the uh, pile of loot. Uh, so is five, I do the $5 shipping pre-orders and there he is. I got it. Thanks guys. Thank you guys. Entertainment earth has been, uh, booty raping on shipping. Um, yeah, it's five bucks through pile of loot on BBTS. So that's where I just got it from. And thank you again, um, for you guys to, to shout that out. Cause I, I was able to pick it up. I believe it glows in the dark. Not staying, just popped in to say hi. Got to start work soon. Have a good day at work, Ionicus. Anyway, guys, NECA stuff. Bam. There's what uh, Jeremy was asking about. Rat King, Rat King and Vernon. Very, very awesome. Looks great. Uh, Craig said that the articulation was fantastic on these figures. So I'm looking forward to opening it. But I did pick up the Rat King and Vernon. Very awesome. And then the other two pack that I had kind of missed out on, and I was really trying to find it, I saw that it was starting to hit some stores on restock, and I missed out on it again. I didn't find it anywhere around here, but I did find it on Amazon for a slight markup. Uh, and rather than me trying to hunt for it and hitting stores and being disappointed and missing out on it, and trying to time when the freaking NECA person's stocking the shelves. I just picked it up on Amazon. It wasn't that big of a markup. I think I paid like $15 more than retail. But, bam. Dragon Granitor. So I got the rock guys. Uh, I really wanted them for... Um, what's his ass? Krang. Android body Krang. Uh, I really wanted to get these guys to kind of flank him in the display. But I really love the way these guys look. 
So again, I picked it up on Amazon. I think it might be sold out from where I picked it up on Amazon, but I got it. Dragon Granitor. And I am officially, I believe I'm officially caught up on all NECA turtle stuff. I think I got everything that I needed. I got Token Razar. I got the Super Shredder. I got the Rock Guys. I got freaking Rat King and uh, Vernon. What else is left? How do you call yourself Cincy wearing a St. Louis jersey? Justin Jones says, because I am a jersey collector and I have a jersey for every team in the NHL. So I had someone ask me today, hey, go Kings, because I was wearing a King. Um, but usually when I buy a jersey, I like to get the, a player that I follow on that team. This is Braden Shen. So I'm a big Braden Shen fan. You froze again. Awesome. Um, what's left, guys? I got some WWE Elite figures here for those that can actually see me. Um, just picking on you. Thanks for the shout out. Of course, Justin. Thanks for being here, dude. I got two WWE Elite figures. You froze. You froze. You froze, froze, froze. You are frozen. You're frozen again. Spectrum sucks. Big old ball skis. You're frozen. Yeah. Let's dance now. Bam. 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 <laughs> You're gone. You're fine. You're good. You're good. You're not frozen. You're frozen here. I don't know what to. I don't know what to believe right now, guys. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> please stop dancing. All right. Since BJ asked me to stop dancing, I'm going to stop dancing. But I am going to show you these two new WWE Elite figures that I picked up. I got Sheamus, <clears throat> who is probably going to face McIntyre at WrestleMania. There's old Seamus. Seamus O'Shaughnessy. Yes, he did have a last name when he first debuted. O'Shaughnessy. No blur now. Off. I just reviewed the Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ionica says. We can see you now. On. This will be a forever on the internet. Me dancing? Hell yes. Feel free to make it a meme. Meme ski. Meme me. You're Elsa. I'm Elsa. Oh, because I'm frozen. Ah. I got it. Any Rip and Pucks coming to Cincy too soon? Rip and Pucks videos? Uh, they're not really producing any freaking hockey cards right now. I got some football cards. I got some contenders, football rack packs that I'll be opening. I got four or five freaking hockey jerseys coming to Cincy too. I got it. I mean, you should see this stack of comic books that I have here. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, it's it's going to probably be a long, long-ish video. But I'm going to go through, I'll probably pick like four comics to showcase, show you the art on. Anyway, so you saw Seamus, Mr. O'Shaughnessy from Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. What comics do you read? Um, <clears throat> a frick ton of comics. I would, uh, I would go through and show you the, the haul, but I'm going to save that for a video. Roman Reigns. I got another Roman Reigns figure. I have a Roman Reigns with the Blue Universal Championship. But this one has his Wreck Everyone and Leave shirt, and it's got his little smug little ponytail head sculpt. Uh, so I picked it up. Heel Roman Reigns. My second favorite thing in the WWE right now. I think he's my second favorite thing. First favorite's Bray Wyatt still. I'm, I'm a huge Fiend fan. Bray Wyatt, but freaking Heel Roman Reigns is freaking awesome. So let me know what your favorite thing is. Raw starts in like 14 minutes. But um, <clears throat> let me know what your favorite thing is. I'm going to show you some stuff that you guys probably are not big collectors of. But I still collect them. And they are called Funko Pops. I actually have a stack of Funko Pops here. I'll be quick. I'll be quick because I'm not going to take them out or anything. But I got these in. Mrs. Cincy, when I got these in, I took them out of the box. And she was just as excited about them as I was because... She grew up on these characters too. Um, but uh, I'll just go ahead and start. They're all McDonald's pops. Bam. I got the Cowboy McNugget. Uh, she really liked the McNugget guys. Um, she thought they were super cute. But I got the Cowboy McNugget. I remember all these guys from the commercials. Uh, somehow she did not remember Birdie. But I mean, how could you forget Birdie? She was like one of the main characters in the commercials for many years. Uh, Birdie the early bird. Freaking love Birdie. Ben Tenza, that's good news. Rhea Ripley can kick my ass every day. 
what happened to Rhea Ripley? Did she get called up or something? Oh, she's she's on the main roster now anyway. So it was uh, Damian Priest. Another McNugget guy. I got Fireman McNugget. See the smile on my face? This is a genuine smile. Because these things are freaking childhood to me. Um, this one she really loved as well. The Fry Guys. They were her favorite. The Fry Guys were her favorite. And she looked at the back of the box and she goes, they look different. She was looking at this one right here. This is obviously the Funko Shop exclusive Fry Guys. But there is a blue and orange one. I saw it at GameStop the other day. I do plan on picking them up. I'll probably buy those for her and just put them on her desk. I need that Fireman McNugget, Ben says. Fry Kids or Fry Guys. Very awesome. Ooh. We got one more McDonald's pop and then two additional pops, which you can probably see right now on my lap. <clears throat> Mayor McCheese. She thought this was awesome. I still don't have Officer Mac. I still need to find out Officer Mac. But these two right here. So um, our whole family loves this cereal. The cereal is called Fruity Pebbles. Uh, I love to eat it on cheat day for my breakfast. Mrs. Cincy eats it on cheat day. Um, Tay Tay eats it just dry. She just eats dry Fruity Pebbles. But um, this brought back some serious memories. So this is Fred Flintstone holding a bowl of Fruity Pebbles because the Flintstones were obviously the spokespeople for Fruity Pebbles back in the 80s. Always on the commercials. Fred Flintstone. I used to watch the Flintstones. So many freaking childhood memories watching the Flintstones eating Fruity Pebbles. So they got the Fred holding the Fruity Pebbles and they have Barney holding Cocoa Pebbles. So these just are so freaking awesome. I absolutely love these. So there you go, guys. How about Pops? And I'm so freaking happy that I got these things. Uh, but anyway... Is that everything? That is, no, it's not everything. One more thing. Rob Choi actually hit me up and he goes, hey, um, do you have this? Because he knows that I collect the vintage G.I. Joe figures. And he goes, do you have this one? And I go, I don't have that one. He goes, well, I got an extra, so I'm going to send it to you. I'm like, okay, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. But it is <clears throat> airtight. Crotch piece still intact. Crotch pieces like to break on these old Joes. Thumbs still intact. His head's a little loose, but I think if I tighten the screw on the back, uh, I could fix that. One of his knees is loose too. This knee's loose. But again, if you tighten the screw on the inner thigh, sometimes you could fix that. Um, but airtight, I had this one as a kid. So very, very happy to uh, get it in the collection. I do need to find the accessories for him, but freaking awesome. Thank you, Rob Choi. I appreciate that. How much time do I got? I got 16 minutes left. Cocoa Pebbles are better than Fruity Pebbles, Michael Thomas says. I like my cereal dry too. I either like to like douse my cereal with milk where I have so much extra milk or I like to put just very little milk. It's like opposite ends of the spectrum how I like my cereal. Either way too much milk or just a little bit of milk. It's weird. Ben Tenza. I do have the Hamburglar, and I got <clears throat> Ronald. This is how much I love these damn pops. They're sitting right over here in plain view so I can look at them during the day. And then I got Grimace. Look at Grimace. Oh, I freaking love these things. I'm telling you, McDonald's used to taste different, used to taste better, I think, personally. It has a very fried, processed bland taste now it used to i feel like it used to taste better i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm misremembering stuff let me know in the comments for those of you that were 80s kids and used to go to mcdonald's get a happy meal did it taste better then than it does now because i feel like it has tiny stark since you have jolly bee funko pop is it popular is it popular it is popular here in the philippines no i didn't i never found that pop but we we actually have a jolly bee here in North Texas now, over in Plano. I've been meaning to go over there and get some fried chicken. But we have a Jollibee. I, I don't have that pop, though. I'd love to get it. Jerry Luna says, my Quick Kick is in great shape. Dude, I would love to get Quick Kick. That's one of the ones that I really, really want. I want Quick Kick, Spirit, 
there's a beachhead wetsuit. I want them complete. Um, complete, great shape, great paint, tight toy joints. Uh, I really, really want, um, especially Quick Kick, because I remember that was one of the figures that I used to carry around with me in my pocket. When I'd have to go somewhere, go with my mom, like she'd go to like a nursery or something to buy plants, I'd have a figure in my pocket and I would just like play. Um, and Quick Kick was one of the ones I always brought. Any old Avengers comics? Justin, I don't think so. I have mostly older X-Men comics. Uh, Jim Flanagan says, I recently put new O-rings in all my childhood Joes. That is a great thing to do. I actually have a bag of O-rings here for any future vintage Joes that I pick up. And anytime I buy a new Joe, I just switch the O-ring out. I switch it out um, and it just makes the figure like a lot tighter and just feel like it's newer. Earth says, I need those Flintstones pops there. Those are pretty cool. I found them at GameStop and GameStop has a sale right now. Their pops are usually, I think, $11.99 or $12.99, but right now they're $9.99. So I paid $9.99 for each of those, and uh, it was a very, very happy purchase. I went home with a giant smile on my face. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Comments jumped, so i got to figure out where the frick I was. Okay, since he, what do you think about the Super Bowl? It was boring, the second half. First half was pretty good. I'm kind of, It's cool to watch a dude, because I'm around the same age. I think I'm a year older than him, or maybe two years older than him. So it's cool to see a dude enter the league around the same age as me, flourish, win all those championships, and then be an old dude like me and beat a young freaking the, the best player in the league, in my personal opinion, Mahomes. Um, so it's cool to see the old guy beat the young guy. It's like if, um, if the Stanley Cup final was... Pens versus Oilers, and it was Sidney Crosby versus uh, Connor McDavid. Because Crosby's an old guy now. He's no longer Sid the Kid. He's freaking Sid the 30-something-year-older. Nobody eats it anymore, wouldn't know. Uh, oh, McDonald's you're talking about. <clears throat> McPizza forever. I never had the McPizza. I also don't like the McRib. I never understood why people like McRib. I think it tastes disgusting, personally. Um, Ask Murda Mobile Gaming says, no, you're right, 100. Ben says, I just picked up the Rock Elite Figure Series 81 about an hour ago. Is that the one with the tank top? With uh, He's got like track pants on and like um, sneakers. I think that's the one I saw. I saw that one at Walmart too. Actually, I could have picked that one up for 15 bucks. I think I might pick it up. I already have a Rock though. He's on my Ruthless Aggression or Attitude Era shelf. Larry, Larry says McDonald's definitely tasted better in the 80s and 90s. Okay, I'm not the only one. Um, about figs, don't remember the last name, last time I went to McDonald's. Don't like the food. Michael Thomas, we're getting a Jolly Bee here in Orlando. Super hype. Is Orlando Supercon still happening or is it Megacon? Is the big con in Orlando still happening this year? I had talked to my brother because he lives down in Homestead, Florida, in South Florida. I had he's he wants to go to a, a big con in Florida, but he doesn't want to go by himself. He wants me to fly in and go to the con with him so he can experience his first like <clears throat> convention. But I'm not sure if they're actually going to happen this year. I really want to visit him down there in Florida. Um, when I was single, when was the last time I was single? I don't freaking remember, it's been a long time, but I used to. I used to go down, my brother and I used to like meet up and go on vacation. So we went to Vegas like 10 times. Hi. Hey, what's up? Uh, went to Orlando a bunch of times, would hit all the amusement parks and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I want to get down to Orlando, get down to Florida. Oh yeah, daddy, um, um, <laughs> on your computer, um, downstairs, I um, put it your live on there, <laughs> so they just saw me on the computer. Oh, you can go, if you run downstairs, you can watch yourself. There's like a delay, oh. but don't fall down the stairs. I'm not going to fall down the stairs. We all came in here too. How's it going, Will? What's up, dude? He's looking, looking at me now. Don't poop in the house, please. <clears throat> Everything tasted better in the 80s, Jared Luna says. 
The burgers tasted better before. I think the fries are the same. I miss the damn orange high C. Dude, yes. I used to get a high C orange every single time I went to McDonald's. I really miss that too. You freaking brought back a memory. High C orange. I used to get a large high C orange. The Baxter variant is a glow in the dark, Cincy. Okay, well, I got the variant then. Um, do you collect the TMNT NECA? Wrecked. I absolutely do. Yeah, I just actually, if you watch the replay, I just showed two, two packs that I got from the cartoon NECA Turtles. I am caught up on the cartoon Turtles and the movie Turtles. So, yes. Um, I decided not to collect the video game ones just to save space. And then the comic book Turtles, um, I have three of them. I'm still looking for a raft. Let's see. Stinkfist says, yes, they went cheaper with all their products and how they process them. Thank you for the thumbs up. I, I'm seeing the thumbs up going up as I'm looking at the time. I, I glanced up at the time to see how long I've been on here, and I saw a couple thumbs up go up. So thanks for those, guys. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> I agree McDonald's was better when we were younger. I'm 44. Okay, so Jason Cook agrees with me. McButter Gollum, damn, did since he start the pocket fig. I definitely did not start that, but um, I, I feel like all my friends when I was a kid carried around figures in their pockets, especially to school. Um, I also used to go to, we called it recreation, but like during the summer, I couldn't just hang out at the house. I would ride my bike to a place that was basically like camp, but I wouldn't like go far away to camp. It would just like be riding my bike to school to go to this thing called recreation, which we just like played all day and like freaking traded garbage pail kids and traded muscle figures and showed off our new GI Joe figures. And I remember I would always bring toys to recreation and I would bring GI Joe's in my pockets and stuff. Damn, that was such a freaking good ass time. The eighties. I mean, right now is pretty cool too. You know, like having disposable income and having a job and being able to buy all this crap. But just the 80s, man. It was so freaking awesome. Just riding your bike everywhere. I would ride my bike freaking everywhere. No helmet. We didn't freaking have bike helmets back then. Ask any dude that's around my age. We didn't wear helmets back then. I would ride my bike across a busy like road that like people go like 60 miles on, 60 miles per hour. I'd ride my bike in town, ride my bike to get comic books, ride my bike to 7-Eleven, play video games buy freaking <clears throat> cards, Ninja Turtles cards, Garbage Pail Kids. You didn't worry about anyone freaking abducting you back then. It's just like a simpler time. I love the 80s. I wish they would invent time travel so I can go back then <laughs> and relive that era. Anyway, you guys got me going and now the comments jump. So let me see if I can figure out where I was. Um... Don't sell the Castle Grayskull. Okay, so Gustavo Gad2. What's up, since you don't sell the Castle, the Grayskull Castle? Maybe something else. Greetings from Panama. Well, greetings, Gustavo. It's, I mean, it takes up a lot of room. I'm looking at stuff that's just taking up room up there. Um, again, tough decisions have to be made when you got to make room. So I'm not sure yet, but I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Jim Flanagan says, I think they used different cooking oils back then. Probably. Same here when I was a kid riding around in a car, CM Brock says. The pouch was the ultimate action figure holder. You know what action figure holder I had is there was a G.I. Joe one that was plastic. It was a plastic holder and it, it was like a it was like that big and then the, the top shut down on it. <clears throat> and I had one of those and I put it on a belt. Because it had like, I think it had a little belt hook on the back. And I, I threaded my belt through it. And I had, <laughs> it was like an early, early, early plastic fanny pack. But I would put my Joes in that thing. I think toy department, or not toy department, Dallas Vintage Toys. I've seen it there a couple times. But yeah, I used to have that. Did your bike have mags or spokes? It had spokes. I never got... I had one mag bike. It was yellow and black. But the main bike that I had was uh, red and black. 
My two favorite colors, red and black, and it was uh, spokes. <clears throat> it's like a BMX type bike. If you were, uh, the 80s were the best, Gustavo says. Do you have the new Black Series completed? Benny, no, I've gotten um, picky on Black Series, picky on Marvel Legends, picky on McFarlane now, just to reduce the amount of stuff I'm buying. I'm trying to get picky on Transformers, but it's hard. It's freaking hard. I don't need a Grimlock. That's the thing. I don't need a Grimlock. I did not need the Studio Series because I have the Giga Power one. And look at this thing. I mean, this is like the ultimate Grimlock. Chromed out. It's huge. Masterpiece scale. Freaking awesome. So I didn't really need a Grimlock, but I got one anyway. So missing raw. Yeah, I'm four minutes into raw. I'm missing that. I'm going to wrap it up here in three minutes, three minutes, and I'm going to hit the treadmill and watch some raw. <clears throat> but I appreciate you guys all being here, guys and gals being here. Um, we had a nice little forum here. I got through all my haul here, um, which is what I wanted to do. I will be filming my favorite NECA, my favorite McFarland figures from 2020, uh, probably tonight, now that I made some room here. And then uh, on to uh, High End and Hot Toys, and then I'm done with the Cincy Awards. So I guess look forward to that. I got to get through those. I'm really, really friggin' swamped with videos right now. So I apologize that it's taking me time to put stuff out. Um, but... Yes, I'm super like backed up on videos, not just like fun videos like these, but work videos. This is like the busiest I've ever been, the busiest now February I've ever had work wise. So, anyway, I'm not trying to make excuses. I love producing the content, I love interacting with you guys, I love talking about this stuff that we all collect. It's fun to me. So, I want to do more of these. Uh, I'd like to get on a regular schedule to do uh, live streams, but. Right now, it's like whenever I have time or whenever I have to make room <clears throat> or whenever I'm not freaking sick without a voice. I'm starting to lose my voice right now. This Grimlock scales with your Siege and Earthrise. It does, Justin Shannon. That's my justification is uh, it's going to go right on the, the shelf ski on the Earthrise and now 86 Studio Series shelf. This Grimlock's going to go. Check out Sayonara Wild Hearts video game, Cerrone Games Go says. I've never even heard of that. Is it fun? Agree about Captain Crunch, but All Berries is fantastic. I was thinking about cereals the other day. Uh, a lot of cereals that I used to eat when I was a kid. Waffle O's. Does anyone else remember Waffle O's? The guy was like a, a cowboy, had a big mustache. Was He was like the, the, the mascot guy. How did that Grimlock cost? How much did that gr The Giga Power? was like 200 some bucks. The studio series was like 50 bucks. Cookie Crisp, that was the other one that I used to, uh, that I used to eat. I don't even know if they still make Cookie Crisp, but I love that. Cincy MegaCon is still on, except for August. Well, guys, if you're in Florida, you might see me down in Orlando in August. It's going to be hot as balls down there <laughs> in August in Florida, but I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go down there. Um, so you might see me down there. So, uh, might have a chance to maybe meet up, hang out a little bit, but, uh, we'll see fruit to brute fruit brute. I don't remember fruit brute since you do have an end game cap hot toy and pre-order. Yes, I have two more payments. I think I'm paying it off. So two more payments go sign. Oh, Sorony games goes as sign our wild hearts is amazing. PS4, Xbox, or Nintendo. I can hook you up with that Disney comp tickets. What? Seriously, dude? Michael Thomas? Hell yeah, dude. That really uh, entices me to come down to Orlando. Disney comp tickets? You know, Disney's like my favorite friggin' place on earth. Like, I always talk about stuff that, like, reminds me of my childhood. Dude, I'm like a freaking kid when I go to Disney World. That would be amazing. Uh, MCT Dog, to the movie heads, pass on bliss. Pass on bliss. Bliss. 
MCT Dog, what's Bliss? <clears throat> what is Castle Grayskull going for now? I don't know, like freaking 800 bucks, 900 bucks. It's crazy. It's reached, uh, it's reached some levels. It's, it's kind of nuts. Michael, Michael works at Disney, dude. I'm so envious. I would love to work for Disney, honestly, or work for, I mean, I, I'm a big like Universal Studios fan too. Just to work for one. Of, I used to work for a very small amusement park in Jacksonville, Florida called Adventure Landing. And that was so freaking fun. And I just did like, I worked at like the go-kart track and I just remember how much fun I had there. But if like to work for Disney, to go to Disney, I'm sure it gets like, it might get old, like every day going, being there, but just, I freaking love that place. Seriously love it. Everyone needs a Grimlock, Felix says. Javier says, hi, bro. Hi, Javier. Fruit Brood is werewolf cereal like Count Shock. Okay, okay. Maybe I did have Fruit Brood. Werewolf cereal like Count Chocula's Vampire Frankenberry's Frankenstein. Reminds me of, of Adventure Island. Adventure Land. Okay, so Adventure Land. Bliss is a new Amazon movie with Selma Hayek and Owen Wilson. Isn't that the really like super depressing one? I think I saw a trailer for that. Check out my channel. You might like it. Lunar Films. Check out Lunar Films channel. I will Lunar Films. Andrea Best says hi. 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 Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Is Andrea Best a bot? <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, guys. I think it's time to wrap it up. I finally got Disney annual. Jared Luna says, yeah, when I lived in Florida, I had annual passes to Disney. And I think we had annual passes to Universal, too. <clears throat> Everyone's saying hi. She's hi, <laughs> Coco says. <laughs> Guys, uh, I apologize for the glitchiness. If you experience any glitchiness in this stream, if you are joining late, please uh, watch the replay. Consider watching the replay. Um, I apologize for random coughing and dry throatedness, <laughs> but I, I'm getting over a cold. I apologize for how long it's taken uh, to get... Um, Nights three and four out for the Cincy Awards. I'm apologizing a lot right now. But uh, that's, uh, I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. I'm going to hit the treadmill, watch some Raw, see what's going on there. Hopefully the uh, Fiend has returned. But thank you guys for being here. If you would be so kind to do that uh, to the video so that it gets out there and people can watch the replay, I'd appreciate it immensely. But um, that's it, guys. So I'll see you guys soon in another video, either on Cincy2 or on the main channel. Justin Shannon says, have a good night, man. Thanks for the stream. Don't sweat the glitches. There's nothing I can do about it. It was just, and you guys got to see me dance <laughs> out of it. But uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. And adios.